guys it's toxic fox welcome back to my channel i thought we'd pop in with another spooky haul because of course we we don't stop buying halloween we just keep going until you can no longer find the spooky things in the stores and then we wait until we can start over next year um so i went out today and i did a bit of spooky shopping and then i did a bit of like I mean, it was supposed to be spooky shopping, but I definitely bought a couple things that are, like, not spooky. <laughs> First of all, uh, Home Sense Winners and Marshalls finally had their Halloween tote bags out for this year. So we got this one. It's super cute. I like it. It's got little ghosts and spiders and pumpkins and candy corns on it. So, of course, I got that because there's no such thing as too many spooky tote bags. I found the two pack of the um, Rebels Refinery Lip Balms. This one is mint and this one is vanilla. And it's, it's a little skull, but it twists open and it's a lip balm. It's a real, it's a real good vanilla smelling. So. Got two pack of these. Can never have too many lip balms, especially with the way I throw them in a bag and forget which bag I put it in. Now, um, I had no intention of my kitchen uh, becoming a Disney kitchen, but um, I keep finding Disney spider themed things. Um, so I keep buying them. I guess two of the ones I got today are not spider themed, they're just the Disney Halloween. Um, but now that I've started, why not continue? Uh, first of all, I found this little ceramic baking uh, dish. Uh, this is like a loaf pan. It's really cute. It's got my little spiders, my little Mickey heads. Really excited. This was $15. But we'll add that to the collection. And then we got this set of four little tiny um, pumpkin Mickey ramekins. I have no idea what I will ever cook in these, but they were really cute and it was eight dollars. Um, and I remember being in the States and not picking up the spiderweb ramekins that I saw and then I got back um, and I was scrolling, I was doom scrolling and I came across a really cute um, recipe that was made in ramekins and I was like I, I should have bought them do I remember what that recipe was no did I buy these ramekins yes yes I did and then there were two of these unfortunately one of them had a crack that was starting in it so I was a little scared that if I bought it it was gonna break um, but I did get these like pasta plate bowl I think I might use it as a chip bowl for like nachos um, but it is a pumpkin Mickey it says happy Halloween and then it's got pumpkin Mickey's all around the outside this one was ten dollars but it's super cute still spooky themed um, but I seem to be collecting a lot of Halloween Disney products for my kitchen which again was not the intention it just kind of happened um, not entirely spooky um, but I did find a, like, useful product. I need a tiny trash can for my craft room for all of my yarn scraps. And how adorable is this little moss, moth trash can? And it's got a little, a little foot pedal. Um, so yeah, this was just too precious. And I do actually need a trash can for my yarn scraps in here. So we got this. She's really cute. I'm loving it. not a spooky item I mean if it's an item that is a bad guy does that make it spooky um I bought this ridiculous um headset stand for my boyfriend it's a creeper head and you put your headset on it and I think it actually lights up most ridiculous purchase ever but I did indeed purchase it for him because we have recently um, reset up 
the Minecraft server and we were, were playing some Pixelmon with a lot of other mods. Um, so we're back in the Minecraft boat. And then I bought one more item. Really excited about this one. Um, cause I thought that I could do a timeless video with this item for um, one of my October videos because I have purchased the Minecraft Pumpkin Farm Lego kit. Um, you can't really see them back here, but I have the fox and the bumblebee um, because I finally allowed myself to purchase some Lego as an adult and that Lego happened to be Minecraft. Um, but yeah, so now we have the pumpkin farm. It was conveniently on sale today, which is really the only reason I bought it, because I was like, mm, that's expensive, I'm a waffle. I didn't waffle very long after I saw the sale sign. So, um, one of these days soon, we are going to do a time lapse building the pumpkin farm. Um, that's it. That's everything. Hope you guys enjoyed my, um, little spooky haul for this week. I'm sure there will be... A few more spooky hauls yet within the month um but for now i will see you guys next time bye